Okay, so here I'm dipping my finger in some water and I just put a little bit of water on my parchment paper. We're going to be using our parchment paper as our casing for our sausage. So I'm just putting my chicken um, mixture there onto the parchment paper. And the reason why I put the water is just in case I need to shift the meat around. Um, the water will help it to slide and putting water on your fingertips also helps you to form the sausage shape easier and it prevents the chicken itself from sticking to your fingertips. Okay, so we just um, start to roll it in tucking as we go in, keeping it as tight as possible and we just continue rolling all the way in order to form our sausages. And then at the end we just twist the ends, not too tightly because I did twist mine a couple times too tight and I end up, <laughs> there you go. Yeah. That's what happens when you twist it too tightly, it can burst. So we want to take two. Now that's much better. There you have it. So there we have our first sausage. So I'm just going to continue to do the rest and then we move on to the next step. Okay, so now we reach to the point of actually cooking our sausages. Now there are two ways you can cook your sausage. You can either boil your sausage or you can steam it. I prefer the steaming method as I find with the boiling method sometimes some of the flavoring from the seasoning does seep out into the water. So here we're going to steam our sausage for about 10 to 15 minutes. So let's say 15 minutes. We will steam our sausages for about 15 minutes. Okay, so now that our sausage is finished steaming, we're going to remove it, place it on our plate, and then we are going to open up our sausages. Now, after you've opened up your sausages, you have a choice. You can either let it cool completely and then you can freeze the ones that you're not ready to use um, in the freezer. Or if you want to use it one time, then you head over to the store and you brown your sausage in a, in a frying pan. So it's up to you. Either you use all of it one time and you just fry it in the frying pan to get a nice browning over it. Or you can, like I said, make it cool completely and then you put it um, in your Ziploc bag and store it in the freezer for whenever you want to use it maybe for breakfast just take it out of the freezer the night before and put it into the fridge and then the next morning you just fry it up in your frying pan mm -hmm. 